morning everybody it is Friday and I am going to do a quick kind of sort of review and a use use usage demo is that what it would be called a usage demo a demonstration using my Hoover Max Extract Dual V carpet cleaner we'll go over it a little bit discuss uh, some of the features on it and I'm going to show you the technique that I use when it comes to cleaning my carpets and we're going to use my office area where it is absolutely disgusting. We got coffee spilt everywhere, kids drinks spilt everywhere, and you know we blotted up with a towel but that doesn't get it. So we got stains galore in this area here. So we're going to go ahead and first let me introduce you to the cleaner and then I will show you the carpet, then I will show you the techniques I use to clean my carpets which have really good results. I will link below this video in the description where you can check this this Hoover uh, carpet cleaner out online so you can check it out read the specs and stuff like that because these are so important if you don't get a good one you're just wasting your money so 40 or 50 dollars more for one that's uh, slightly better more powerful really does make a huge difference and I'll show that to you guys here coming up all right so first thing that we need to do is go over some of the features of this unit um, and how they kind of work so right here at the top of the handle here you got your on off switch and then you have your rinse and your wash. So if you put it on rinse, when you squeeze the trigger back here, right here, then you're using the solution mixed with the water and the machine does that. They mix the, the machine mixes the solution with the water. You don't have to mix it. You can if you want, but then you won't have clean rinse water. It'll always have the solution in it. Um, if you put it to wash, like that, now it's up on wash, only the clean water is gonna come spraying out of here when you squeeze the trigger. Okay, so you got rinse and you got wash. You got your on off switch right here. You got this, is your, how does it work? Right there, you got your tool holder right there. Okay, this is your accessory tool for the hose. We're not gonna do the hose today, that'll be different. But you got your accessories tool for doing like, you know, dining room chairs, couches, getting into hard spots maybe you can't move dressers you can reach behind them or between them or something with that and do the job that's what that that is there you got your clean water reservoir right here you drop down this handle and it comes right out and I'll show you um, later on in the video how to fill it and how to put your soap uh, solution in whatever you decide to use okay here you have your dirty water reservoir and so the water will get sucked up the snorkel here and it'll go up here and into the dirty water reservoir. That's this right here. And you have these little clips that you flip these clips out. Flip, yeah, flip, clip, clip, flip. Flip that out. You flip that out. And you go ahead and, well, with the handle laid down, you would then pull this out. Later on, I'll show you the insides of all of this. You'll see that later. Um, spinning the machine around you have three different brush speeds power scrub which is what we're going to use today you got gentle scrub and spill pickup so that's kind of self-explanatory as to how much you want the bristles down here to be working um, again you have your locks here and then in the back right here you got your pedal to release the handle and then you got a nice long power cord. I'm not exactly sure how long it is, but it's pretty long. Uh, let me flip the machine down. Show you the bottom here. A lot of your carpet cleaners are going to have a, like a power broom. They're going to have that round thing here that has the curved bristles going. So as it's spinning like a vacuum, it agitates your carpet. This one has six heads that work, and it's got some hair in it, but six heads that work um, and spin like crazy and you can see them spinning when you're working you can see them spinning from here these are fantastic these agitate the carpet really really nice and I like that and then you got this little side brushes here too with a little bit of rubber so you don't mark up your paint um, that's basically it so that's uh, that's just a quick rundown of this machine it's badass oh and your hose goes right here that's where you put your accessory hose right there um, so keep that closed if you're not using it uh, but we're not going to do the accessory hose today that might come on come in later on 
Um, and then let me show you real quick the data plate. And I'll try to turn the camera sideways here and get you guys a good focus. And pause the video right probably now. And you can copy down numbers if you want to do your own search for products. But there you go. That's the unit. So next up, let's put it to work. Let's go over this carpet now. Now that we vacuumed it, let's take a look at it. We got some really serious stains in it. You can see here, right by the outlet, we got some pretty good stains there. Over here by my desk, where I consistently drip coffee, <laughs> this is going to be a real challenge. Um, my dirty shoes, my dogs lay underneath there, so there's going to be a lot of dirt falling off of their hair from, from going outside. So this is a mess. I mean, this, this carpet is a mess. Maybe it doesn't show as bad. Um, here we got marks, spots, and stains in the carpet. We got some stains there. Doubt I'll be able to get the machine there, but we'll try. Um, I mean, there's just discoloration all over. So we will do what we can here. Um, whenever you're going to use a carpet cleaner, always remember you gotta vacuum first. You absolutely have to vacuum first and get up all your loose dirt and hair and stuff like that. Because uh, it's just gonna make a mess in the machine. So that's the first thing that you do, vacuum first. So now the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and get the cleaner prepared uh, to clean. So let's go ahead and start that right now. Here's the chemicals that I use, um, Otoban. 3-in-1 carpet cleaner. You can mix this so many different ways. It, it gives you, where is it, right here, step one, step two, step three. So you got to read that for yourself. I like this stuff. It smells good. Um, it's a very light smell. It's not a chemical smell. It's not a very flowery, soapy smell. It just smells good. It smells like a nice cleaner, uh, and it's not really expensive. So all you do with this is mix it in straight right into the chemical reservoir. Now, you don't have to use the chemical reservoir if you don't going to if you don't want clean water for rinsing. I like to have the clean water for rinsing as an option, but I'll show you my technique. It's probably way different than everybody else's, but I have good results. So, just regular old tap water and fill up the fresh water tank. Okay, I want to top it off because I'm going to also do the hallway here by the kitchen and there's bad lighting. So with the bad lighting I'm not going to be filming that but I will continue that. I'll just edit that part out of the camera. So now you got your tank full, you got your soap dispenser full or cleaner dispenser full. Go ahead and line this back up. Now we are ready to rock. We're ready to clean the carpet. So let's go ahead and do that and I'm going to show you how I do that. And this might be unorthodox, this might be different from the way that you guys have done it, but let the results speak for themselves. Right here, here are those bad spots right here. This is pretty yuck here, there's a spot here. Um, some people would pre-treat it, they would pre-treat this area here. Also up here, there's lots of spots, people would pre-treat it, I'm not gonna. I just don't need to. Uh, there's spots here. Here and here. Here's what I'm gonna do. You're, I'm gonna go with the vac, with this, with the carpet cleaner. I'm gonna go all the way up, and then what I do is I spray the soap and water mix going forward. That way the vacuum's not sucking it up instantly. See, a lot of people squeeze and pull, and so it's going down and then immediately coming up, and it doesn't really have time to work into the carpet and loosen the dirt. You might as well just be using water. Um, and no soap because the soap, the Odo band, whatever, whatever you're going to use for carpet cleaning soap needs time to act as a surfactant, which we've talked about surfactants in my channel so much. The surfactant is what separates the dirt, the grease, the oils, whatever from the fibers. Or in a house watch situation, it loosens the dirt from the vinyl and makes it so the stuff rinses easier. Um, same rules apply with carpet as far as I am concerned. Uh, I'm not a carpet cleaning expert. I'm just a homeowner like you. 
uh, or a renter trying to get my carpets cleaned here. So what I do is I'll go forward putting the soap down and then I'll move over a row, come back, and then I go forward on that same row putting the soap down, move over a row, come back, and then do it again. That way I'm not sucking the stuff up. When I have the whole carpet soaked, ready to be sucked up, I then start over and I'll suck it all up. And then I move back up and then I suck it all up. Then, and only then, if I have to, I'll go back to where there's bad spots if it didn't come up and then I'll hit it with the rinse only and scrub it with the brush and a little bit of water and see if we can't work more dirt out of the carpet. And that's it. That's what I do. So let's do it. So did you see how I did that? Soap going up, move it over a row, come back. Soap going up, move it over the row, come back. Soap going up. So right now, this carpet is very wet. Here are those spots. The stuff is sitting on the spots. Let it sit on the spot. All right. Without trying, look at the dirty water. That's just from minor overlapping. Look at that mud. That's not even trying to like go slow and suck up the dirt. That's just from minor overlapping of reapply of, of applying soap going down in the first place. And we are empty on our clean water. Um, and we are about halfway because this goes to a triangle. So we're about halfway on our detergent. So that gives you a general idea of how far detergent goes. Um, now, here's what we got. The carpet is soaked. I mean soaked. My socks are soaked. I like to wear socks so I can feel it. My socks are soaked. My carpet is soaked. The chemicals are acting as a surfactant and loosening up the dirt. We are now going to drain the dirty water and then start from the top corner and just suck it up and then we'll go up and suck it up and we're just gonna now pull all the dirt out I always say that when it comes to like carpet cleaning or anything like that it's the vacuuming that makes the difference anything can lay down chemical you can spray it with a squirt bottle you can get down there and scrub it with a scrub brush but if you don't have a good strong suction to pull the dirt nastiness out of the carpet you're just wasting your time so now what we're going to do and I'm going to show you guys the power of this vacuum portion, the sucking portion of this for the water extraction. And that's what leaves your carpet looking and everything smelling nice. So let me go ahead and drain this dirty water. I'll show you how to do that. You got a little latch here and you got one on the other side. Lift this up and the unit comes straight up. Oh my God, look at that. That's a mess. It's a spring handle. So it locks back down so hold your spring handle out of the way and it's got little locks right here so just get this out of your way here now be careful you don't lose these seals make sure these seals are in place all right and I'm gonna dump this out here so you guys can see it like I said this is this wasn't even like intentional trying to vacuum up dirt this was just overlapping from 
uh, applying chemicals. Ugh, look at the mud down there. And this is this is right after vacuuming. Look at that. That's nasty. So let me go ahead and clean this out with a garden hose. And I'm just going to rinse it and rinse this, put it back together, and then we'll get back to work. There's this uh, little gate ball here thingy. When this is like this, when the dirty water comes up to level, this will float and float and float and then shut off. And you'll hear it, you hear the vacuum go to like super high speed suction. That's because it's no longer um, working properly. It needs, this needs to be emptied. Okay, so that's important. I did no pretreatment of this carpet. Um, I'm not using anything really harsh or anything really, really strong. Uh, so we'll see what happens here. These are the spots here. I mean, these are nasty spots right here. They're soaked. I'm not sure if they're going to come up. Not every spot does come up, but I guarantee you this is a great, great mess. I mean, look, I mean, that's just, what is that? I don't know. Let's see what happens. All right, so I'll give you guys a bird's eye view here. All the coffee stains that were here, gone. The stains over here by the power outlet, don't even see them anymore, gone. And all we did is we applied the mix, we let it dwell, we sucked the mix up. All this stains and dirt, gone. So now there's one more thing that I'm going to do. I am going to do a back rinse of clean water only. Just clean water rinse. And pull up one more time. And let's see what we can get for nastiness.
right, so here we go. I went over it a couple more times, just extracting the dirty water, not uh, applying any any water, any rinse or, or any more soap. Uh, and so you see pretty much the results. Gone. Spots are gone. Gone. Everything's gone. I mean, it's like a brand new carpet again. Everything except it's old carpet. The the matting is all screwed up. Whatever. Um, and me and the landlord are talking about putting in new carpet, anyways. Uh, but look at that. I mean, every spot that was here is gone. And I didn't break a sweat. And I used very little detergent. You saw how little detergent I used. So a big old bottle of like odor band. I don't know how much it cost because my ex-wife bought it a while back. Because um. She had dogs, and those dogs were terrible dogs. I mean, they, they used to potty in the house all the time. So she took those dogs, so now they're destroying her mother's house, which is perfect. Um, and not destroying this one. But there was piss and shit in this house all the time. And so she bought that odor band to help fight that. And, I mean, that stuff is really good stuff. So, I mean, this stuff, this these spots are gone, guys. There's nothing here. Nothing, just carpet. So there's that outlet. Where's that outlet? There's that outlet, and the spots would have been all right here, really bad. And they're gone. And then all the coffee stains that were here are gone. That's not a stain. That's a carpet pattern. But all the stains are gone. All the little drops of coffee, gone, spotless. Let me know what you guys think. If you guys get one, comment back. Let me know. Cool. See ya.